Are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? Our friends at Roman can help. Go to GetRoman.com slash Holly and get 15% off your first order plus free shipping. There's no commitment. You can cancel anytime. And yes, you will meet with a U.S. certified doctor through their online portal. That's GetRoman.com slash Holly for 15% off your first order plus free shipping. Um, so how old were, cause I, you were pretty young when you started in the industry. Were you 18 when you started? Yeah. When you shot me, I was 18. That was, you shot me like my first or second month in porn. Okay. Um, I definitely want to ask you like how you got into the industry. It's kind of the standard question, but I did also just want to make a comment before I forgot because you know, the, the subject of how old should you be when you come and get into porn comes up a lot. And a lot of people believe that the, a lot of performers believe that the, the age should be raised to 21, which I can understand. But then I also do tend to cite that there are certain girls who have come in at the age of 18 and have done really well for themselves. And I feel like made the right decisions from the beginning. And it's always like you and Sasha Gray are like the two girls that I'm like, well, but what about these two? You know, there's always exceptions to the rules. So how do you feel about that? Well, I will say that um, at the time, you know, when I was 18, like there were like, there was like one director that I couldn't shoot for because he only shot 21 year olds. And I was like, hey, like, that's not fair. I know exactly who that is. Yeah, not worth like mentioning the name, but you know, so um, then I now I'm 24 years old. And looking back, I was very young. And I realized that um, the reason why 18 year olds are allowed to do porn is because the teen category is so popular. So I understand why it's allowed, but I definitely think that the age should be at least 20. I'm not going to say 21, but I would say 20 when you're past those teen years. Um, Just because even looking back from when I was 18 years old to when I became 20, like how much I matured a lot within those years and you kind of realize more, um, consequences from your actions like your brain develops a lot more between those years and um I think I definitely knew when I was getting into the industry all the consequences that came along with it because thankfully I had a lot of guidance from Spiegler you know he made it very clear all your parents are going to find out all your friends are going to find out you know all the things that could happen he made sure that I was aware of that and thankfully I had someone that made it very clear to me all the all the negative consequences that come as well as all the good things that come from it. Um, but unfortunately, all the 18-year-olds that do come into the industry, they don't have that sense of guidance. Some of them do, some of them don't. And I don't believe that all of them are fully aware of all the negative things that come with the, the good things. So um, yeah, I definitely think that age should go up to at least 20, but... I don't see it happening in the foreseeable future just because the teen category is so extremely popular. And I know it did well for me being like a teen. So I don't know, but that's my opinion. It's also hard to argue that people can't do porn at 18 when they can go to war and die for their country at 18. Exactly. Exactly. One of the tricky. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, that's another thing that I feel the age should be raised because again, you should, your brain isn't really fully developed to understand the consequences that can come from, um, from joining the army. You know, I think that the age for that should be raised as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the government's never going to do that because it needs young, (laughs) naive, able-bodied people to. Yeah. And that's very unfortunate that it is, but I'm just happy that they raised the age to smoke cigarettes to 21 because I was like, why is that 18? Because smoking cigarettes is just as, if not more harmful than drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. You smoke cigarettes. It's something that you do every day constantly. Um, I know because I used to be a cigarette smoker and I know the damage like it did to me. Like, thankfully I quit, but, um, you know, usually when you drink, it's like you're a casual drinker, but the people that smoke, once they, nicotine is so addictive, you smoke every single day. And so I'm glad that they made the age for that 21 as well. Mm-hmm. So let's not lose hope. Maybe, I don't think they will, but maybe they will raise the age to join the army. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think ultimately the only thing that we can really do right now is try to make sure that there's 
good, solid information out there for new girls, you know? And I think that social media has helped with that and the internet has helped with the ability to find resources on coming into the industry. We've talked about this so much on this podcast about like somebody writing a handbook or making like an instructional video. It's not guaranteed that everybody's going to read it, but I think another really important key part is having a good agent, which you had. And a lot of girls don't have that, that luxury. So tell us how you actually got into the industry. Like what made you want to get into the industry? How'd you find Spiegler? Like all of that. Um, okay. So I was dating a guy that was a porn star. Um, he was like in porn before me and I just really liked it because all the guys, I know what I know who he was. Um, I don't know, but he, I, he worked for browsers a lot. And, um, that's why I have my last name is because of him, but he's no longer in the industry. So are you going to make me, are you going to make me guess who it is? Um, okay. So his name was break danger. And, um, oh, okay. The name is so familiar, but yeah, I he, don't think I ever worked another with girl in porn after me. Who's like very, very, very popular. Um, okay. so I was dating him and it was perfect because most of the guys that I dated were very jealous and possessive with me, but he wasn't like that because I let him have sex with girls on camera all the time. So I could do my own thing. And, and then a couple months into us dating, he was like, why don't you shoot porn with me? And I'm like, no, like, why would I do that? Like, I really don't have to. And he's like, you'd be so good at it. Like you are already having sex with me. Like just shoot like a scene with me. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then after a while I was like, okay, fine. Like I'll do it. I was around it so much. Like I had visited porn sets before I got into porn. Like I went to like Brando's set. Um, Like he's like a Brazzers director. Mm -hmm. He was shooting with him. I went to set with him and it just became like so normal and cool. And I saw how much fun everyone was having. So I was like, I'm just going to try it. And then I shot my first scene with him and it was so much fun. It was like amazing. It was like second nature. Like it wasn't even work. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do this like forever. Like this is what I want to do. And then I just never left. (laughs) Who did you shoot your first scene for? I shot my first scene for Bang Bros. Ah, okay. And you shot it with him. Yes. And it was with him. My first five scenes were with him. And then he wanted me to only work with him, but I was like, no, I want to work with other people. You get to work with other people. Like it's only fair. And then he was not down with that. So we broke up. And then, um, thankfully because of him though, cause he always loved working with Spiegler girls at the time, Bonnie was like someone that he worked with a lot, Bonnie Rotten. And he was always like, Spiegler girls are the best, they're the best of the best. So I always kept that in my mind that if I did want to have an agent, it would be Spiegler. So I I like self-booked my own scenes in LA and then I flew there and I was shooting a scene and I was shooting a scene and um, they asked me, why don't you have an agent? And I said, because I only want to be a Spiegler. And that guy, so it was Ralph Long, he took me to Spiegler's house right after the scene and he introduced me to him and I was so lucky because I was so new. I only had like five scenes that had come out and like that one that I shot that day under my belt and Spiegler decided to take me. And at that time, Spiegler didn't really take new girls. Like now he does more, but at that time, he all the girls that he had were already like established porn stars. So I was really grateful for him. Yeah. If he does take new girls, he definitely vets them. Yeah. You know, did he vet you? Like, how did he make the decision to book you? Well, I guess that director spoke really well about me. The one that shot me. So it was Ralph Long. And then um, he kind of just asked around around me and he did like, he has like his little tests. So he would be like, call me tomorrow at 8 a.m. And I'll come. Like, <laughs> I've then, heard that from like every girl, yeah, like, like the yeah. test punctuality. <laughs> yeah. So he like tested me in those ways and just kind of got to know me and then, and then took me in. I am like, like I give him such headaches. Like I really don't know how he puts up with me all the time because I'm such a brat and like, I just make his life so difficult sometimes. So I'm so grateful that I'm still like on the site and I'm talking about like, um, he pretends that I annoy him that much, but I mean, you can ask him. He'll tell you. He's like, oh, I'm fellow danger. <laughs> are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? Guys, you are absolutely not alone. This is super common these days, but you can do something about it. 
Go to GetRoman.com slash Holly, and if approved, a U.S. physician will prescribe you the medication, which will get to you in two days with free shipping. That's GetRoman.com slash Holly for 15% off your first order plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.